friends. Welcome to our next lecture. Today, we are going to delve into the intricate dance of societal changes and individual identity formation. We'll be navigating the complex interplay between societal changes and individual identity development, focusing on two rich historical periods, the European Renaissance and the medieval Islamic uh, world, as well as our own time period. Now, our identity is not a fixed entity, but a dynamic construct, continually molded by the societal and cultural context we inhabit. In essence, our individual selves are not isolated islands, but parts of a broader, ever-changing societal landscape. Historically, major societal changes have left indelible marks on individual identity formation. Let's first venture into the European Renaissance, a period characterized by profound societal shifts and cultural transformations. This era saw a resurgence in the values placed on human abilities and individualism, which fundamentally impacted individual identity formation. As historian Jacob Burkhardt noted, quote, man became a spiritual individual and recognized himself as such, close quote. This observation encapsulates a transformative shift in the way identity was conceived. An example of this new self-awareness can be seen in the self-portraits of Albrecht Dürer, a pioneering figure of the Northern Renaissance. A key example is his self-portrait at 28 years old, wearing a coat with a fur collar from 1500. This piece is not just a depiction, but a powerful assertion of Dürer's identity. The frontal pose of Dürer in this self-portrait, a perspective traditionally reserved for depictions of Christ, demonstrates a marked shift from the artist as a mere craftsman, but to an individual of importance. Here, he is not just portraying his physical likeness, but aligning himself with divinity, thus asserting his intellectual and artistic prowess. This indicates a growing self-awareness, a realization of his individual uh, significance. That was uncommon in medieval times. His fur collar indicated his identity was was as a man of wealth and status. Moreover, his unflinching gaze directed straight at the viewer reveals a confidence, a conscious self-recognition. It's as if he's engaged in a dialogue with the viewer, inviting them to acknowledge his existence as an individual, not just as an artist. And finally, the meticulous detail in depicting his own features, such as the intricate rendering of his hair shows his heightened self-perception. It displays an introspective self-awareness, keen observation, and a willingness to present himself authentically. In essence, Dürer's self-portrait encapsulates the shift and the understanding of the individual identity during the Renaissance, emphasizing the artist's self-awareness, self-importance, and self-reflection. Transitioning now to our second example, medieval Islamic history, we find an intricate tapestry of diverse cultures and vibrant intellectual life. Here, the individual's identity was deeply influenced by their roles within family, com family, community, and broader social structures, as well as by a tradition of knowledge and scholarship. Islamic scholar Ibn Khaldun highlighted the role of asabiya, or group of solidarity or shape social cohesion in shaping societal structures and consequently, individual identities. In his work, the Mukaddima, he observed, quote, people need to cooperate in order to meet their needs. This can only be achieved through group feeling, close quote. This reflects how identities in the immutable Islamic world were formed in the context of community, with social cohesion playing a pivotal role. These two periods, the European Renaissance and medieval Islamic history, which shared intellectual and cultural heritages, both show how societal changes shape the construction and negotiation of identity. The Renaissance, the shift towards individualism marked a significant break from the predominantly collective identity of the Middle Ages. In contrast, in medieval Islamic history, the emphasis on community and social cohesion underscored the collective aspect of identity, a notion deeply embedded in societal structures and cultural norms across the world. The central point here is that is the malleable nature of identity and its adaptation to changing social landscapes. 
Identity is not an insular phenomena, but a fluid construct that is negotiated and renegotiated in light of societal changes and cultural transformation. Similarly, now we can consider the rise of digital technology in the late 20th century and the exponential growth of social media platforms that have created a parallel digital world where identities are shaped, performed, and negotiated. Sociologist Cheryl Tur Turkley in her work, quote, life on the, the screen, close quote, states, open quote, we come to see ourselves differently as we catch sight of our images in the mirror of the machine, close quote. Our identities are now not just shaped in the physical world, but also reflected and refracted in the digital mirrors of the internet. As we see cultural transformations play a significant role as well, the global spread of American culture, often termed as Americanization, in the latter half of the 20th century has influenced identity formation worldwide, molding attitudes towards individualism, consumerism, and freedom. On the other hand, local cultures can continue to provide a strong basis for identity formation, fostering a sense of belonging and continuity amidst global cultural flows. In conclusion, the development of individual identity cannot be entirely understood from the context of societal changes. The flux of societal landscape shapes the contours of identities, making them as dynamic as the societies we inhabit. Yet it's crucial to remember that identities are not merely reflection societal changes, but active negotiations of these changes. As individuals mold and adapt their identities in response to the shifting societal context. Thank you.